for all my products so I got the Inglot um I can't see nothing yeah I got the Inglot um Duraline mixing media makeup mixing liquid um I saw this TikTok that said if you have it you can basically use all of the eyeshadow palettes that you have um and create different types of like makeup like eyeliners without actually like buying a bunch of liquid liners so I got it to use I'm probably gonna be using it today um, and I'm excited to test it out. So this is something new to add to my collection. Um, so as I said, she requested a purple look. So that is what I'll be giving out today. Let's get it. So for this look, I'll be using another one of my Juvia's Place palette. Um, since she requested a purple look, um, I'll be using both of those palettes because one of them have a deeper shade of purple and the other ones have a lot lighter shades. Um, and that's how I will be doing my makeup. So I'm starting with that darker shade of purple. Um, and I just want to say I really don't know what I'm doing. So y'all bear with me. I'm just trying things as I go. Um, I'm applying the darker shade, like packing it in with a smaller brush. And then once I'm done doing that for both eyes, I'm just going to blend it out with a big, big, big fluffy brush. Okay. So here I go with that big fluffy brush. I'm just working it back and forth, working it back and forth, trying to make sure that I can get it as blended as possible. Um, I will say like when you're doing makeup, you really have to have a lot of patience to do this type of stuff. But occasionally I get some more product on um, the brush and I um, blend it out more into like the outer corners of my eyes um, and stuff like that and I just keep blending and blending until it looks too like it looks reasonable it looks like it could be worn somewhere you know Once I'm done with that, I added some black. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I added some black. It was not a part of like my original vision, but I added it anyway, just for some razzle dazzle. And let's see what happens. I mean, I do think it adds some dimension to the look, so I can't complain.
with the black I go back over it with that same purple um, shadow that I've been using I haven't switched from that purple shadow as of yet it's just the same one I keep using over and over um, and now I'm gonna cut my crease y'all know that's literally like almost one of the only things I know how to do and I don't even know how to do it that well but it's one of the few things I know how to do so I'm gonna keep doing it until I find something better to do cut your crease don't move don't breathe just cut it So once the crease is cut, I go back in with that same purple color um, and I'm just blending out those edges. So you're not really seeing the actual like start and end of where the crease is supposed to be. You just kind of blend it out to your liking. Um, it makes it look a lot more pigmented and it even looks like it's almost like two different color purples that's there, even though it's literally the same purple that I've been using the whole time. So just blend those edges out and then you'll go back in um, and add some color to that cut crease right there. Now I'm going in with my other shadows. I'm keeping it real simple with this look and I'm just going in with this lighter eyeshadow color um, and I'm kind of just like packing it right there onto that part of the lid as well. I think I was kind of trying to do a gradient with the purples, but who knows what be going on in my head, you know? And one thing I will say is like when you're doing your eyeshadow, sometimes it looks really messy. Um, sometimes your face don't look finalized until everything comes together. So not because it looks a certain way doesn't mean that like it's not going to come out good, you know? Just have hope, have faith, and pray that God got you and it should all work out. So the same thing that I did with that um, darker purple shade, I do the same thing with this lighter one as well. And I'm using that big fluffy brush to try and blend everything out, okay? You want to make sure that it's blended. That's, that's the key. Blend, 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 blend. Always think blend. Your favorite thing to do is blend. When you wake up, you think of blend. When you go to sleep, you dream of blend 
when I want to breathe, I blend. Just keep blending. Now I'm going in with this other purple eye, um, purple color. It's more like shimmery than the other ones. Um, and that's what I'm adding into that, like, um, the corner right there, the more shimmery color. Um, and yeah, that's really essentially like it for the eye look, you know? Um, I did realize at the end of this look that I really forgot to put something in my my inner corners um to keep those highlighted um i realized i probably didn't I, I don't think i even baked or like sprayed any setting spray um but it's okay because the finished look came out looking well regardless um y'all will see me trying to use the inglot doer line thing um but it didn't work out so hot for me um this time um and that was my first time using it so i'm not really mad about it but like obviously like i'll learn how to use it better um the beauty about doing this type of makeup is you can always you make mistakes you can always clean it up with some makeup wipes or some q-tip and a um like the micellar water that you see me using there so make sure you keep those things handy So right here, I'm just like using the Inglot. I got some eyeshadow on my arm and I'm mixing it in. Um, I do realize what I did wrong um, in the first one. It made the eyeshadow turn out gray was that I used that um, eyeliner uh, thing that I used for my actual black eyeliner. So when I mixed the white and the black um, together, it ended up turning gray. So then I had to go and find a different eyeshadow um, to do it with. And I didn't, even, I didn't even use the right brush when I was applying that liner either. So it didn't come out as neat and perfect. But I think the look itself came out good. And um, ultimately, it didn't matter because everything worked out for the best. So y'all see me going in with a new eyeshadow. Um, you just want to break it up and take like a little bit on your arm and mix it. And mix it with that a single drop of that dual line. And it makes you like a nice eyeshadow. I could see the concept and I could see how it works. So I'm really happy I got it. And I'm definitely going to be trying new looks with that product.
So once I'm done with my eye, y'all know I'm just going to be going back over everything and I'm just going to be doing my face like I normally do my face. If you've watched any of my other makeup videos, you should see how I do my face. Um, and if you haven't, go check one of them out. Um, that will explain in like more detail how I do my face. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to do my face and finish it off for y'all. Um, and then y'all will see the look come together with the lashes and everything too.
So I did my last lash off camera, but once I take that out my hair, this is the finished look. And thank you guys for watching. Mwah.